This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by NitrosMe.com. Hey guys, what's going on? I am Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this food slide presentation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. We will be covering a lot of different techniques throughout the video and as you can see this video is around half an hour long so make sure to grab a coffee or something and enjoy learning all the cool stuff. With that said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition called this render as our main render comp. Let's go with full HD that is 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS, 10 seconds long, hit OK. Alright, let's create one more new composition. This is going to be our media placeholder. So I'm going to call this media. And uh, if you're going to create multiple slideshows, make sure you call this media underscore o1 and then let's create one more new comp which is going to be our scene so let's call this scene underscore o1 all right so in the media comp i will be using a burger image that i have you can use any image whatever that you have your product for so you can use a pizza you can use a number of different things doesn't really matter it completely depends on your choice so let's go into scene one and drag and drop in our media one composition. So there we have our burger. Probably I'll increase the size a bit. So hit S and let's scale this up to 120 or maybe 115 should be fine. Yeah, that looks good, but it may get a bit blurry because the image is not quite that big. So I'm going to use a very simple effect called unsharp mask, which is much better than just using the basic sharpen effect. So here we are in the scene one and here we have a comp hit control Y to create a new solid called this PG for background. And on the background, I will be adding a ramp gradient ramp actually. So let's give it a really nice red color for this one. Actually, I'm going to go with the darker tone. So something like really dark and also increase the RAM scatter like so just in order to avoid any kind of color bendings. And then I'm going to adjust the gradient like that. So we have a very nice looking background. So yeah, in the first half of this tutorial, we will first prepare the complete design of the slide animation. And then in the second half, we will animate it. All right. So let's place it right over here, the burger, just like so. Then I'm going to select the text tool and let's type in our text. So for the font, I will be using a Nexa Rust. So Nexa, Nexa Rust Slab, very awesome font. I have mentioned the link in the description to download this font. Also, you can download this complete project file from the link in the description. So make sure you check it out. It's completely free. So I'm going to type in classic and it's looking quite weird at the moment and it's because yeah, now it's perfect and I'm going to place it like so hit control D to duplicate it. Let's put this below and this is going to be our second text. So this, it's going to be classic burger. You can of course type in anything that you want burger. And one thing that is very important is make sure you go into your paragraph tab and make sure your paragraph alignment is set to center text. It should be uh, left aligned by default. So make sure you switch to center text. It, it will be later helpful when we create animations. And um, yeah, that's that. Now let's select the pen tool and I'm going to create a pretty simple wavy shape here. So I can just click and holding shift, I can drag the handles. And let's create some baby shapes. It's going to be pretty abstract, to be honest. So something like this and you know, something like that. And you can obviously adjust it anytime that you want. So I can just, first of all, let's create a shape like this. And then if I want, I can just simply select the point 
and it just does like so and also this one like that so we have this very nice shape let's call this s underscore one that is shape underscore one let's put this below our media but on the top of our background and let's place it in the position that we want so somewhere around there looks good and just copy the gradient ramp effect from here so hit control c control v to paste it and then i will adjust the ramp like so so i'm gonna place it somewhere around here and this one i'll move it like that pretty far away so we have a really nice shape in the background and then select the layer right click go into layer styles and let's add a drop shadow i'm gonna set the distance to zero just increase the size like that really high and bring down the opacity like that so you can see it more properly you can hit ctrl shift h that will hide the control layers and then you can see everything properly and then i'll go here and increase the noise to five percent so we have some very nice noise in the shadow and again this will help us with the color bending um problems so that is looking good let's hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'm gonna pull this below actually so this looks very nice i think the intensity of the shadow is way too much so i can go into drop shadow let's bring that down to 25 percent that looks much better for this one so that is looking good and here i have a logo again you can of course use any logo any text if you want to i have a logo here let's say it's a restaurant logo so maybe it's gonna be the burger logo so i'm gonna place it this one right here then i'm going to use this again hit ctrl d let's put this below everything hit s and let's scale this up really nice and big and place it like so all right and then hit t and let's bring down the opacity like that so 15 person looks good so here we have our logo now if you want if in case if you don't have a logo you can simply select the text tool and type in something like burger and uh, increase the size like that and you can place it in the background and then hit t and bring down the opacity so you get this kind of look but i'm going to use a logo because i have one but in case if you don't you can use always use the text all right so there we have our media now i'm going to right click go into layer styles again and add a drop shadow on this one as well so here let's jump into the settings uh set the blending mode from multiply to normal of the drop shadow so make, i'll make some room right over here so you guys can see it more properly bring down the distance to zero let's increase the size like that but i'm not going to keep it black actually i'm going to make it kind of a darker red color something like that let's place the opacity all the way up to 100 you can also go with a lighter tone that will give a really nice glowing kind of an effect but i think dark tone looks much better on this and let's add a noise of five percent so that adds a nice depth to the complete scene and then let's add the uh, price of the burgers on type in 20 dollars for the phone i will i will use a nexa a normal nexa actually nexa bold that looks much better to me all right and let's add a circle to this so i can hold alt and control sorry control and shift at the same time let's put this below i'm gonna align this into the center make sure the anchor point is in the center as well now if you don't have the anchor point mover which is a free script you can simply uh, select the layers hold control and double click on the pan behind tool that should make the anchor point or uh, move the anchor point in the center for this i'll pick whip a dark red color from here and I think I'm going to make it a bit bolder so I can go here, go into Nexa and make it Nexa black. That would look much better. Yeah. And let's adjust this a little bit. So I'm going to 
keep it something like that let's uh, place it right over here all right and let's create a new null object place it right over here and parent both of these layers to this null so yeah we can animate them using just one single null which we will need later on when we animate the complete scene all right so that's that and then finally i will select the text and add some hashtags here it's not necessary but just to make the composition a bit balanced here so i'm using the burger and special and of course you can use any font i'm gonna just keep it at nexa full cap and let's make this nexa bold i think all right and let's pick with the same yellow color make it really nice and small and adjust the kerning really high let's place it somewhere around there set this to around 20 that is looking good and uh, finally i will add some uh, description here so i can select the text tool and i can click and drag so now whatever we type will be inside this box so i'm going to simply hit ctrl v to paste my text here and then set this to left paragraph alignment set this to 20 or something i don't know maybe probably increase this let's set this to 16 all right add all the data or the description that's needed it can be anything yes i have added them and basically i think our scene is ready to roll so yes our design is complete you can go ahead and swap this with anything you can use a pizza you can use a number of different things here but i think this is looking pretty good for now now before we proceed further with this tutorial let me take a minute and talk about today's sponsor nitrosme.com they have a special flat 50 percent off christmas sale up on their website they have some really amazing packs like ar tools montage library video library motion tiles and my favorite the 4000 plus all-in-one transition library for premiere pro all the animations are auto resizable plus comes with their sound effects included and the best part is that they all come with simple straightforward commercial license meaning you purchase the pack once and use it for unlimited projects forever for more information check out the link in the description below now let's go ahead and animate everything so before we start animating one thing that you will need to do is to download and install this free script that is the keyframe wingman which comes with animation composer i have mentioned the link in the description after you install the animation composer go into windows and there you'll find the animation composer 3 keyframe wingman so just download it and install it so i will hide everything and let's start from the background so let's zoom in into our timeline i'll go to around one second and 10 frames select the background hit p to bring down the position create a keyframe go back and let's pull this out of the frame like that then i will select the keyframes and simply make sure the parameters are set to 90 by 90 and simply click on this button so it's going to add a nice simple curve adjustment or the graph adjustment so you can control your graph using this point and that is why this script is very very important i don't need to jump into graph every single time i can just simply give it numbers and then apply use the same preset for every different animation that i want so here we have added this really nice animation looks very very snappy let's go ahead here we have our logo let's animate this as well so here i'm going to use a different technique so i can duplicate the background hit ctrl d and then go into effects and preset and delete the gradient ram from here we only need to use the track mat so let's change the track mat to luma mat and that is what we are looking for select the logo hit p create a keyframe go at the very start and bring that down bring the logo down so now if i select the keyframe add the same animation we have a really nice movement in our logo as well looks very nice we don't want to keep anything static here we want everything to have a little bit of movement just so that it looks much nicer then we have this wave so let's go ahead and animate them i'm going to select this one hit p create a keyframe 
go back and then pull them out of the frame like that and i'll select this one oh not this one second one and pull that out and then i will move them a little bit apart so that we have a first shape and then we have a second shape so you can select the keyframe again click on this button to apply the same preset make sure you select all the keyframes so now let's see and as you can see it's looking pretty nice i can move them a bit forward in time so we have the background and then we have the waves i think they are very fast so i can just increase the timing and yes that is looking much better now let's select the media now for the burger i have a very interesting animation to put in so let's hit s and i'll, I'll move my burger to around uh, right here create a keyframe on the scale move that keyframe ahead a few frames and then set this to zero and then for the animation here i have a very simple script so I'm going to just copy the script, hit Ctrl C to copy it, hold Alt and click on the stopwatch of the scale property and hit Ctrl V to paste it. And now we have a very nice bounce. So it looks pretty cool. And obviously I'm going to turn on the motion blur. So it looks pretty damn cool. Also, I'm going to turn on the motion blur for the waves as well. So they, so they look pretty nice. so far so good i'm gonna close them all now let's go ahead and animate our text so let's go at around right over here two seconds let's go into the classic go into animate and i'm gonna add a position and also i'm gonna add a property of opacity and also add a property of tracking so first of all let's bring down the position like that set the opacity to zero but before that also make sure the tracking is closer like minus 85 or something bring down the opacity at zero then go into range selector let's move the offset to all the way up to 100 percent create a keyframe go back and set this to minus 100 then go into the advanced properties change this from square to ramp up and let's set the ease high to 30 percent and ease low to 100 and now we have a really interesting text animation pretty cool now as you can see it's visible right here so in order to fix this i can simply select the text select the rectangle tool and simply create a mask like that and here we have a very cool text animation same thing i'm going to do on the second text but i'm going to change the order it animates so select the animator hit ctrl c select the second text hit ctrl v to paste it i'm going to hit u two times to reveal all the properties and all i have to do is move the position up so let's go somewhere around here where we can see the animation and let's set the position in minus something like that so now we have this is a really nice animation again i can select this and simply create a mask like that but obviously we need to actually adjust it a bit so that it doesn't overlap here and keep it something like this and now we have a really cool animation pretty nice i can add a motion blur to this as well so it looks pretty organic and looking pretty good actually and then let's animate our logo but before that i'll actually put it right here all right before that let's animate our uh, cost of our logo cost of our burger sorry so let's go right here move this um, both the shapes right over here select the null object and i'm going to hit s to create a keyframe go back and set this to zero and again i'm going to use uh, the same expression that we used previously so Control c to copy it hold alt click on the stop watch it Control v to paste it so now we have the same pop-up animation to this one i'm going to also add the 
motion blur so it looks pretty nice and finally i'll animate the description so in order to animate this let's go into animate add a position and add a property of opacity set the opacity to zero and let's select this and bring down the position like so let's go into range selector set the offset to all the way up to 100 create a keyframe go back and set this to minus 100 go into advanced properties change this to ramp up and change the based on from character to lines so now we have something like this looks pretty awesome now let's change the ease low to 100 percent and this one to 20 percent so we have something like this looking pretty nice and finally let's animate the logo and this text so it's pretty simple i'm gonna go right here hit p to create a keyframe on the position let's go back and let's pull this out of the frame and this one oh, sorry and this one out as well select the keyframes and apply the same animation from the keyframing and preset and now let's preview the complete animation so i'm gonna go at the very start and let's preview this i think it's looking pretty cool came out really nice and boom there we have our food slide animation inside of after effects that without using again any plugins and using different uh, elements is very easy all you have to do is let me just show you pretty quick you can jump into the media composition all right and i can replace this with a pizza maybe let's bring down the size and now we have a pizza i can move the null object make sure you hit p and let's move the null object so we can move the pricing of this and you know just change this from burger to classic pizza you can add all the details that you want and there you have your slide animation you can obviously change the colors you can do a number of different things you can use a different animation all in all you can make it look pretty awesome now let me also show you how you can create multiple slide and basically create a complete slideshow using this technique so in order to create multiple slideshows make sure you duplicate these two composition inside the project panel so hit ctrl d now it's going to create scene 2 and media 2 now let's go into the render comp drag and drop in the scene 1 and the scene 2 let's say an animate animates like let's say go to 5 second and then move out the scene 1 now you can jump into the scene 2 and then replace the media 1 with media 2 so select both of these hold alt and then drag and drop it so it's going to replace that then jump into this i'm going to make this burger let's go into scene 2 and now also change the text basically so let's go right here and change this to burger all right and very important is that we need to change the color so i'm going to keep it red for the burger let's go into scene 1 and change the color for the pizza so let's go with something like maybe a yellow so let's go with a nice kind of a, and let's make it kind of an orange a bit that looks good select this hit ctrl c and paste it on the shapes as well so hit ctrl v and then obviously i can adjust the points so i can move this somewhere around there move this one to something like this and then hit ctrl c and paste it on this one and then change this text to something like red so that is looking pretty damn cool and then i can also change this to red that is the description so there we have our uh, slide one and then also yeah one more thing is going to media going to the layer styles going to drop shadow and make it yellow 
all right so if i go here we have the first slide and then we have the second slide looking pretty good so basically you can stack up multiple slideshows multiple slides and create a complete slideshow for your restaurant or maybe a hotel or whatever that you want so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure you like this video let's aim for 1000 like on this particular video and also if you're feeling generous you can also support us on patreon i have mentioned all the links in the description you can follow me on instagram at dope.motions.com i have mentioned every single link in the description below so make sure to browse that description and click on every single link that you see just kidding anyways i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out